let's move on and look at um, the treatment of data within the shared services world. Um, so some leaders within this market talk about us being in the third age of shared services where we're changing our relationship with data um, and, and using it in a very different way. And I'd be interested to know um, how electronic invoicing enables us to address that third age better or indeed kind of fits in with that overall development. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great observation and e-invoicing should be at the, the very heart of the sort of big data initiative. The data analysis world in this space is extremely exciting right now. And an invoice, a purchase order, uh, all the payment history, they're rich sources of information. Um, and as you, I mean, as you referred to in your introduction, this analysis of large volumes of data to extract insight is really in my lifeblood. I've spent, doing, I've spent 20 years working in this area. So you're going to have to watch this space to find out how we begin to use this wealth of information. But we, we are exploring a number of ways of helping our buyer and supplier customers and our BPO partners to, to work with the data to help benchmark the performance of different service offerings and uh, different business processes within within their client organizations. I think it's 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 exciting to think that that third age has pivoted around data, and it makes absolute logical sense for it to be so. Are you seeing this reflected in the RFPs that are coming your way? That there's more of a a, a, a higher requirement for analytics to be part of the service. Yes, yes, definitely. I think it's more it's still at the reporting level. I mean, there's a distinction between what has happened and what will happen. The concept of analytics being predictive, the concept of uh, analysis or reporting for historical benefit being more about justifying what's gone on. And I think what we're seeing in RFPs today is still historical. It's saying, okay, well, you tell me what you've achieved in which, in which segments, not what, what will you do differently going forward. And that's where I think there's an opportunity to, to, to lead with some better insight or segment-driven um, programs. Mm 